So here is another quick tip, this time with hardware, with the Maleco voltage block. It's an eight channel sequencer, but actually when it's not running, when you're not clocking it in any way, it's also an eight um, channel fader bank that you can use as a sort of a macro controller or to control all sorts of different things in your patch. For example, if I move this fader here, have a look here on the scope, you can see that basically it's, it's um, sending offset Right, and then again, you can use in all sorts of different ways in your patch. So let me show you an example. Here I have a sequence with the Basimilus. Right, and I have the first fader, I'm multiplying it, or I'm duplicating it, or I'm splitting it, right? It will control the harmonics or the timbre of the Basimilus, the decay, it will open the decay. But uh, the Basimilus is also going to the DLD, to the dual looting delay from 4MS, and it has a delay feed input, CV input, right? So I can raise the sort of a built-in VCA here and send the Basimilus also to the delay from there to a nice reverb if I do this. Right, so with one fader, I can have a sort of a macro controller controlling the brightness, the decay, and also the delay send. I have here another example, I have here another sequence coming from the, um, from the STO, it's going through a filter, I can open the filter with this fader here, but it's not only opening the filter, it will also um, raise the repeats, the feedback on the mimeophone, so after the filter, this is going to the mimeophone, and with the same fader, I can open the um, filter and raise the feedback. And with another fader, I can control the brightness or the shape here of the STO. Right, so already just with those three knobs, uh, three faders, sorry. Right, I can have lots of uh, control and actually really perform different aspects of the patch. I have here another voice which is coming from Psyche, which is a sort of a bass in this case. It's again, it's going, uh, again, it's going through a filter, a Lopez filter. I can open the filter with this fader here. Right, but I'm splitting this um, CV output. It's going also once to a comparator, which means that when the fader goes above a certain level, right, the comparator will output a gate that will open an envelope, or will uh, gate an envelope that will open a VCA. So I'm sending after the low pass filter, I'm splitting the signal into another VCA, right? So whenever I go above a certain level with the fader, this VCA will open and will send psych into magneto, which is here a uh, pitch shifting and adding delay. Right, so I can do this again. It's going through a comparator, which means that whenever it's going above a certain level, it will gate size the envelope, which will open the VCA and send the voice actually to Magneto. And I have here another fader. In this case, I'm using it with Neoni. Now, Neoni has a wave fold output. And when you inject, when you send negative voltage, to the CV input, it will actually close a sort of a VCA, right? It will not let the signal through. So I'm sending this fader through an attenue verter, which is here, I'm not so sure you can see it. So I'm offsetting it a bit to the negative side. So when it's all the way closed, it's actually not at zero. It's actually a, a negative voltage. Closing the VCA, Neoni is being sequenced by the Max Slicer, a nice um, quick arpeggio. So when I open the fader, also Neoni will come in. Right, going through emitter verse or delay, this modus verse or reverb. Right, so again, I have lots of control just from those um, five faders. Again, sort of macro controllers. And that was it. That was the tip. I'm going to play this a bit. Um, cheers. Cheers.